Coronation Street spoilers, Eileen in danger as Pat Felon's dead body is finally exposed. Coronation Street villain Pat Felon is fearing the worst after knowing that his secrets started to unravel during tonight's continuation of the ITV soap, and now it seems the killer could be exposed for good. Pat Felons, played by Connor McIntyre, killer secrets were almost exposed this evening. But Felon managed to escape as Coronation Street viewers finally called time for the murderer to get his comeuppance. Felon was told in no uncertain terms in Monday night's episode that his concrete pillars would be demolished. He knew that this would mean his hidden bodies being discovered and hatched a plan to take his wife Eileen, Sue Cleaver, to a cottage for a week-long getaway. He hoped this would give him enough time to arrange a proper escape for the two of them but without payment for his concrete work at the mill he struggled to get abroad. Here is how Felon's secrets began to unravel in tonight's episode as it happened. 8.56pm Gary and Sarah block the security guard in the toilet and begin smashing at the concrete pillars. How long will it take them to knock through each pillar and will they be caught before they get the evidence? Will the security guard phone for backup? 8.55 p.m. Felon arrived at the secluded cottage with Eileen and revealed that it is his dream holiday. Eileen announced that she has no phone signal, just half a bar. She then admitted that she hoped the cottage came with a landline, much to Felon's confusion. 8.48 p.m. Felon says goodbye to Summer in what appears to be a final farewell. Eileen joins him in his red van as they drive off for their holiday. As the van pulled away, Tim questioned what was going on. Will this raise suspicions? 8.42 p.m. Seb and Gary turned up at the mill in search of the gun after hours. However, they were met by a security fence. Gary explained that he knew the security guard named Trevor who would let them in. But it turned out that Drevi had already been sacked for stealing the lead from the building site. Seb then made out to the replacement security guard that he had left his belongings on site, but the guard said that there was no chance he would let him in. Will they find another way in before it's too late? 8.34 p.m. Eileen popped into the pub to tell friend Liz that they will be heading on holiday for a few days and that it will be make or break. Liz replied, make or break? I vote break. I could have saved you a long time ago. 8.05 p.m. Coronation Street fans loved the tense first half. However, we're starting to think Felon has more than just a romantic getaway in store for Eileen. Viewers have been tweeting thought the episode, with one fan posting, I have a bad Felon about this. Run, Eileen. Run. Hash coy. I'm loving the first of tonight's added Koi so far hash Koi, posted another. A third added, hash Koi the anticipation is stratospheric. Add Connor 9 McIntyre your switch from kind to evil is why we all love you. Hash wrong boot right. 7.56 p.m. Felon hurries to pack a bag including Eileen's passport. Eileen reveals that Summer will be staying at a friend's house. This means that Felon and Eileen can now escape Weatherfield together. He said, I promise you. You're not going to regret this. 7.52 p.m. Seb, Tim and Gary meet in Roy's roles to discuss what Felon is really hiding. C is utterly convinced that the gun is hidden at the mill. Gary offers to help find the gun before anyone else does, but Tim backs out of the plan. 7.48 p.m. Felon tells Summer that he will no longer be going to the cottage because someone needs to stay and look after her. He then tells Summer that he is worried about Eileen, prompting Summer to offer to talk to her. She then says, leave it with me. I'll be back in a bit. 7.45 p.m. Felon tells his wife Eileen that he will be renting a cottage for a week. She refused to go because of Summer. Eileen also protests that they can't leave until a buyer for the house is found. 7.36 p.m. Seb Franklin, Harry Vizinoni, was told that the pillars at the mill were about to be demolished. 
He then phoned Gary Windass after overhearing a workman speak to Felon on the phone. Seb told Gary, Can you and Tim meet me later? I think I know where Felon's hidden the gun he used on Luke. 7.34 p.m. Eileen stops by at Roy's Rolls and reveals she wants a new life and has no choice but to move away with her husband. Fallon entered and spoke to Liz McDonald, Beverly Callard, alone and said friends can be outgrown. 7.30 p.m. Fallon left Summer and Eileen at the bus stop and went to finalize some quotes. Eileen continued further down the street and overheard Tim Metcalf, Joe Duttine, speaking about Fallon. She then confronted him and he demanded that they move out of their house sharpish or he would tell the police that Felon is running a scam. Here's what else we know so far. When did Pat Felon join Coronation Street and who was his former wife? Felon first made an appearance in the ITV soap on October 2, 2013. Episode 8226 of the drama saw former Builders Yard owner Rowan Armstrong. Ian Pulston Davis. Owen was determined to confront Felon about his alleged bankruptcy and visited Felon's then wife Valerie, Caroline Berry, in an attempt to trace her husband. He later visited Felon and showed him his bankruptcy order while warning him that the matter wasn't over. However, Felon had his eyes set on Owen's girlfriend Anna Windass, Debbie Rush, and acted inappropriately around her. It was revealed that Pat had actually raped Anna during their ordeal. Felon has terrorized Anna since 2014 upon plunging her family into financial ruin. In recent months he even framed her for Seb Franklin's, Harry Vizinoni, ladder accident. Later in the continuation, Felon and Valerie moved to Dubai, but after finally seeing what he was really capable of, she divorced him. Felon was already bankrupt and Valerie kept all his assets and the money, so he was left with nothing. Who is Pat Felon's daughter and current wife? Felon is the father of Nicola Rubinstein, Nicola Thorpe, and is now the husband of Eileen Felon, Sue Cleaver. Last year, Nicola discovered that Felon had raped her late mother Annabelle Rubinstein. Nicola and Eileen have both teamed up and began to discover horrifying secrets about Felon. About Felon.